finished. We took down all of our holiday decorations and we're getting ready to leave to head back to Florida. Kevin is doing some deep cleaning. You want to say hi, Kevin? Hi, everybody. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but you know what he's doing? He's cleaning the cabinets and kind of some of the drywall. Um, he's doing the glass light fixtures. Kitchen's kind of a mess there. But so this is what we discovered. Our filters in our furnace kept turning black. And then we noticed that up along here, our cabinets were turning black. Anyway, I did a little bit of research and I found out that candles, especially scented candles, cause um, your filter to turn black. And also, if you look around, you might find that there's like black soot on your white cabinets or your walls. We couldn't believe it. So I don't know. We're going to try getting those um, candle warmers, you know, that you don't actually light the candle. And we're going to see if that works. We're pretty confident that it will. But we're just kind of doing some cleanup before we head to Florida. Look at, look at that. I mean, that is crazy. Today we're going to do one of my favorite dishes, which is a really hearty, warm, delicious chicken stew. It's a little bit of a different flavor profile for me, so we're going to use salt and pepper, some crushed rosemary, oregano, garlic sriracha, and smoked paprika. Those are the spices that we're going to use in the dish. And in the meantime, we're going to get a whole chicken, pop it in some water with salt and pepper, and bring that up to a boil, and then let it simmer on low for about two to three hours. I'm cooking for about six people, so I'm going to use one large chopped onion, about five chopped carrots, and a half a bag of the little round potatoes. Now here in a pan, I'm putting down one teaspoon of olive oil, and we're just gonna get that heated up. Kinda swish it around the pan a little bit. You know, in the old days, I used to go once or twice around the pan, which was an enormous amount of fat, unnecessary fat. I don't mind olive oil. In fact, I love it, but you don't want to overdo it. Okay, so we are getting all of our chop chop items down in the skillet, and we're just going to kind of mix those through, get them coated in the olive oil to kind of help them brown up just a bit. You want to watch your garlic. If you burn your garlic, you're in trouble because that will take over the entire flavor of your dish. So you want to be careful. Don't burn your garlic. If you have to put it in last, do that. So I'm throwing in the salt and pepper now and we're going to get a lid on it. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Everything's looking good. We've got some brown edges on things. So now I have my one cup measuring cup and I'm going to put one cup of chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth, down in the pan to help things soften up. And let's pop that lid on and kick this back to a simmer. Now in the meantime, my chicken finished boiling. I let it cool a bit and I pulled all the chicken off the bone. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside. And now that everything is nice and warm in here, we're gonna go ahead and throw in all of our spices and get that mixed through. Now I heavily season just because that's what I like. I like 
to be able to taste the seasonings. And I feel like this is a good amount. A lot of this will cook down. I forgot to film for you that right at this point, I added in one can, 14 ounce can or thereabouts, of tomato sauce, not paste, tomato sauce. So one can, add that in, pop the lid on. Everything's been cooking about 30 minutes now. The potatoes and the carrots are getting soft. So we're gonna add in our chicken. Now, very important, you guys, only use half the chicken. I'm doing this voiceover after I've tried it. It's delicious, by the way. But that was too much chicken. You only need about half of that chicken. Now that everything is pretty well cooked down, I'm gonna add one more cup of the chicken stock. If you use half the chicken, you will probably not need it, but since I use so much chicken, I'm going to need it. So all you're gonna do is give that another stir, leave this cooking on a low simmer for about another 30 minutes. Oh, my God. 